Do you have a big scar like I do? And you wish there was something that could reduce what it looked like, the redness, reduce the uh, how far up it pops up. I've got a few products that I have tried that I would like to talk with you about. I'm Melanoma Mom. I was diagnosed with melanoma skin cancer in January of 2021. And so I have been trying to reduce my scars. I have a lot of scars. I have the giant one on my arm that unfortunately is as good as it's gonna get. I will insert a picture of what it looked like fresh out of surgery here on the screen for you to see. And I have been using a couple of products on it. I also have little spots on my body that have been punch biopsied and skin biopsied. And I have some stuff to talk about that has worked for those to reduce the redness and get them to lay flatter on the skin. I have three products to share with you that I have been using since the beginning of March on these new scars. And I'll let you know what I think about each one, the pros and the cons. But up front, I wanna let you know that my newest scars have started to keloid, which means, if I understand this correctly, that there's a lot more scar tissue and it's thicker than normal. And pretty much the way my scars look now, my surgical oncologist told me that they're not gonna get much lighter, that it doesn't matter how much of these products that I'm gonna talk about I put on, that it, they're not gonna be reduced anymore. So I'm pretty much stuck with a red line on my skin and my new biopsies I've noticed have been darker keloids. But I have still been able to shrink the, um, how much the scar sticks up with, with with two products, so I'm pretty excited about that. These are no guarantees, these products, I'm not sponsored by these products, they're just ones that were recommended to me by my dermatologist or one of them I had used in the past when I had stretch marks from having kids. I make no guarantees in this video, I'm just gonna talk about my experience of these three products, they may or may not work for you. We all have different bodies, we all have different skins, so I suggest trying a variety, here's just what I have been using. All right, this first product you may be familiar with, it is recommended to pregnant women all the time. It's called Bio Oil, and there are good reviews on this, there are bad reviews on this. Some people say it doesn't work, some people say that it does. Now, I have a biopsy that I had done on my back in January of 2021, and it has pretty much faded, and I have used no silicone products on that scar on my back because I couldn't reach it to put the silicone products on it. But I can dab a little bit of this bio oil and I've been dabbing it on in the morning and in the evening on my back. I've forgotten some days in there, I'm sure, but pretty much almost every day. It is a very thin oil. You can't even see it. It's just clear. It has a very strong smell though. Um, if you don't like the smell of like old lady perfume, if you know what I'm talking about, that's what this smells like. It smells like old lady perfume. And the smell doesn't go away. When you stick it on your body, that smell stays. It smells like that. It's like a combination of like baby powder and old lady perfume. Not pleasant. As you can see, since January, well, no, I bought this in February. Since February, so this product goes a long ways. Now, I've put it on my big scar. I don't think it's doing anything to that. I've put it on the scars that have started to keloid. I don't think it's doing anything for that. Um, I've also put on stretch marks, and I don't think it's doing any, any help for that. But I have been putting on, I have um, the one on my back, that was a biopsy scar, one on my arm. I do feel like it has reduced the redness. But is it this? I'm not sure. Let me know. Have you used this before? Okay. So I have mixed feelings about this. I'm going to use this whole bottle up, but I have mixed feelings. The second product is one that was recommended to me by my surgical oncologist who did the surgery to remove my melanoma on my arm. It's a pretty big scar. This works like a paintbrush, kind of like a nail polish, where you just paint the silicone on your scar and you're supposed to do it twice a day. Now I found that whew, has a very strong like nail polish smell to it. If you have a fresh scar, I did not put this on my scar in the beginning until it was pretty healed over and the skin was less sensitive because this does sting because I'm assuming because it has alcohol in it, but I feel like it does sting. It has 12% silicone and hydrocortisone, 0.5% are the active ingredients. Other ingredients are 
flexible collodion, and vitamin E. I put this on at night because it does peel. So throughout the day, it looks like, like you've got a sunburn, you've got to peel the skin off. That's what it looks like. So it tends to weird people out if I wear it in public. So I put this on at night. I do feel like it helped reduce my scar and help the appearance of my scar look better, but it's not the end all be all. Now I have, I still have a little less than half left. I don't know if you can tell from here, a little less than half left. It's about like right here. So I will continue using this. Now on my little biopsy scars, I didn't notice a difference, but on my big scar I did. I would recommend this to reduce the appearance of the redness of your scar and how thick it gets, this stuff. Okay, now one thing that you'll notice an immediate, I have a product that you're gonna notice immediate results from, okay? And I've been using this off and on. I have not been consistent with this product. I use it when I'm getting bothered, like if one of my scars is itchy, or if I feel like it's starting to look more raised up, this is what I use to flatten it. I can't speak on redness, but definitely flattens this big old scar here, and my keloid scars. I have one on my stomach and one on my side over here. This is what it looks like opened up and they are reusable. So you peel this open and inside is another sheet like this, and then you peel it off and it's stick, it's super sticky. Now again, I wear this at night, unless, unless it's under my clothes because People then ask, why are you wearing a big, huge bandage looking thing on your arm or on your spot? So I mainly use this, if it's a, if it's a scar that stays covered up during the day, um, I will cut it to the size that I need and put it on there and reuse that until it gets gross. Or this one fits perfectly my big, my big scar, it fits the entire length of it. It's just a sheet of sil silicone, okay. So this is called Scar Removal. I will link it in the description box down below. All these products I'll link in the description box if you want to purchase them for yourself. It's Premium Medical Silicone. This was recommended in a melanoma Facebook group that I am part of. It minimizes all types of scars. Yes, it minimized my melanoma scars. And it says keloid. Specifically on here, it says it minimizes keloid. And I do believe it does that to, especially to the one on my stomach, I'm noticing a difference and my arm. I haven't tried on stretch marks. And this one again, I waited until my scar from surgery had kind of healed over because it's so sticky that when you peel it off, it pulls at your skin and it pulls at your, like on my arm, it pulls on my arm here. So it's, it's not pleasant to remove off. Um, it's easy to remove off, but it really stretches your skin. So I waited till I was healed over before I started using this. Here's the ingredient list. I'll point to it on the back here, right here. All right, so that's the ingredient list. And it comes with how many? Four reusable sheets, which it says is two months supply. And I still have one sheet left. And I got these in April of 2021, I wanna say. Let me know what you're using. Have you tried any of these products? If you end up trying one of these products, let me know how that goes for you. Bye.